So what's good everybody? It's your boy Pegaso. Welcome to another video of LBC Rec 562 Blogs. Check it out. We are in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm gonna take you guys to the spot where Tupac was shot back in 1996 along with Suge Knight. I made this video about seven years ago, probably, but I had to delete it. Got me a copyright for using some of Tupac's music. Back then, I didn't really used to make videos like I do right now. So check it out. We're gonna go to the spot and see where Tupac was shot back in 1996. And it's here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and Right up the corner, right in the corner of, right in the corner of Cobal or Cobo and Flamingo Road. So we're gonna go and see what the place looks like today. We're gonna try to narrate how it went down. It's your boy Picasso, Tupac, rest in peace, all eyes on me. Y'all know what time it is, man. It's your boy Picasso, follow me. <laughs> It's El Pegaso, Long Beach Cali, ya se la saben. Trabajo solo, no ocupo robar talentos, aquellos que yo admiraba se me van cayendo lento. Aunque tengo lo que tengo, en compa yo sigo humilde, seguiré siendo mejor, aunque la garganta... So check it out everybody, as we approach, I can see the night when Tupac was shot. Right here in this corner on Flamingo Road and Hobo Lane. This is what the place looks like today where Tupac was shot and killed. He was actually shot right here. And after he was shot, he was actually taken back into the hospital. He was rushed into the hospital where six days later he was pronounced dead so check it out Tupac was actually coming from that road over there into over here he was going this way and I'm sure they were gonna go to a club where they were gonna go have an after party after the Mike Tyson fight. So check it out. Tupac was actually parked like that green truck right there. And then the white car that shot them, what a coincidence. We got a white car right next to the green truck. And that's where Tupac was shot and also his ex-manager, Suge Knight. I wanna show you guys the road, the street names, Flamingo and Cobo. This is where Tupac was shot back in 1996. We're gonna go check it out, the spot exactly. There's, a, there's, actually, a, there's actually a pole that's all tagged up and I want to show you what people come from all over the world and they come and pay their respects to Tupac after so many years people still come and visit the spot where Tupac was shot and they write messages they write uh, all eyes on me uh, changes uh, rest in peace Tupac rest in paradise G there's a heaven for a G they come and write in, in, uh, in a poll right in the corner where he got shot and I'm gonna show you guys what that pole looks like today now I didn't bring a marker or nothing but I brought a camera to bring it live to you guys so check it out we're gonna cross the street it I do want to let you guys know when Tupac was shot he was coming from that road over there he stopped right there they shot at them they got Tupac and they got Such Knight and they made a u-turn went back on Flamingo Road they went back to Las Vegas Boulevard and then they stopped 
somewhere else and i'm gonna take you guys to the street where the car was actually dropped off where the cops came and they got Such Knight and Tupac. But for now, wait, wait. let me cross the street so I can take you guys to where everybody comes and pays their respects to Such Knight and Tupac. Well, Tupac basically, because Tupac was the one that died. Such Knight is in jail right now. But this is what the place looks like today and you can recognize it. It's changed, but this is it. Cobo and Flamingo. All right, so here we are crossing the street where Tupac was shot six days after he was pronounced dead in the hospital. And I wanna show you guys the spot where everybody comes and pay their respects by signing the pole that's right here right in the front right in the corner right in front of where Tupac was shot right here this is it this is a pole where a lot of people come and pay their respects to Tupac not only Tupac they started putting other people's names see check it out right here I'm not lying Tupac some things never change some things may never change. Try to draw Tupac right there. But this is it. This is the actual spot where Tupac was shot. He was shot right there. When they hit the stoplight, some other car got him on the side of him. He was actually spotted by his enemies. And, um, you know, they saw him before that. He was having uh, some beef at the MGM after the Mike Tyson fight. Um, but, yeah, man, they jumped the person. They jumped somebody in the, in the MGM resort. And I'm going to take you guys to the exact spot where they jumped this guy. And after that, they followed him. They got to the stoplight, and this is the spot where they shot him, where that green truck is standing. That's where they got shot, and the white car was this one right here. This gray van. They shot at Tupac from the back seat. This is it, man. This is a spot. Cobo and Flamingo Road. This is what the spot looks like today. Like I said, they got shot. They busted a U-turn. And they went back that way towards the Flamingo onto Las Vegas Boulevard. I don't know where they were going after that. They were probably going to try to go to a hospital or something. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that when something like that happens, you don't even think, you don't even do nothing, you just go with your instincts and try to get away from the enemy. But this is it. This is the actual spot where Tupac was shot. And like I said, six days after he got shot and he was at the hospital, he was pronounced dead. But this is where everybody comes and pays their respect to Tupac. Some things may never change. But yeah, man, I hope you guys like this video. If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, go ahead and do it right now. It's your boy Pegaso. Y'all know what time it is from Las Vegas, Nevada. LBC Rec 562 bringing it live to you guys. And I'll see you guys next time bro